This video is a video that I never thought I would be filming because I never thought that I would take on this type of challenge. What's up guys? My name is Taylor. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and shoot my Instagram a follow. Today's video is, as you can see by the title, um, I took a 14 day social media break. A complete detox from social media for 14 days and I just wanted to hop on and talk about my experience. I am also going to be talking about all the benefits of doing something like this for your mental health. Why everyone watching this video should 100% give it a try themselves. So why don't we just dive in. A few weeks ago I was having terrible anxiety. I have pretty bad anxiety. I definitely have a generalized anxiety disorder and if you guys know me you probably know I am an anxious person. <laughs> but a few weeks ago something just hit me really hard where I was having consistent anxiety like every day. Almost at all times I was feeling anxious which was completely unusual for me because I usually only feel it at certain parts of the day or in certain situations. So a few weeks ago I was like what is going on? I am like beyond anxious. It was making me so emotionally unstable. I would literally cry at anything, whether it be a nice, mean, or sad, I was crying. I just felt like a complete wreck. Another thing that I started to experience that I have actually never experienced before, in that moment I was looking at photos of myself on Instagram and in my camera roll and I was looking at photos of myself and like not thinking that that was me. I thought of myself as like looking a certain way, looking different than what I actually looked like and really like pulling myself apart, just judging myself on every flaw that I may or may not have. So while doing this, I was looking at all my photos and like kind of a little freaked out thinking like, that's not even me. I feel like I look like a totally different person. And I'm pretty sure this is also called body dysmorphia, which I think I've kind of experienced as I think we all do because of social media. But I was experiencing it very hardcore and like looking at myself, not even knowing who it was. So that led to me going on my own Instagram and just archiving like half of my feed, which is not like me. I really would not go back into my past photos because who even sees those anyways? But I was going into my feed and just being like, okay, yeah, delete. So that was definitely a roller coaster of emotions. I was kind of like locked into my phone for hours and crying, not talking to anybody about it because I was so like freaked out. And in that moment, I was like, what am I doing? I know that I have anxiety. I do see a therapist and I am all about helping yourself in journaling and exercising and doing all these things to kind of train your brain to not feel anxious. So in that moment, I was like, okay, I think I need to just get off of social media. And the first thing that I thought of was, okay, I'll just take a day off. I'll just do tomorrow. I won't log into any social media. And then I really started to think about it and like thinking I have like survived without social media for a full day when I'm working or when I have stuff going on so it's not gonna feel any different. I decided that I was going to go on a long social media break. At first I was going to do 30 days off of social media completely. I thought 30 days might be a little bit too long of a time to be off of it because I didn't want it to cause me more anxiety. I knew it would be hard for the first few days but I didn't want to have like a full 30 days and just be kind of, you know, freaking out. I've actually never taken a social media break completely. I've never deleted all the apps off my phone. I've never even done a weekend, which is actually really popular. I know a few people that, you know, take a few weekends off of social media and it just feels like a good detox. So I decided to do 14 days, two weeks off of social media completely. And I want to talk about what apps I got rid of and why I recommend everyone do this and if I'll be doing it again. So 
let's talk about that. My social media break started on August 24th and today is September 9th. So I got back on social media on the 7th, which was two days ago. And it has actually been very eye-opening and really refreshing. The first two days, I really didn't have a hard time at all because I was so motivated to like stick with it. I also work on the weekends, so I keep myself pretty busy and didn't feel the need to like log into anything. One week into my social media break, me and my boyfriend planned a lazy day. We just wanted to do completely nothing, which we don't do very often. That was the day that I think I really started to get anxious. If I was on social media, I don't think I would have as hard of a time just doing nothing because I can, you know, aimlessly scroll through TikTok and Instagram and Facebook for hours. And like midday, it hit me where I felt like I needed to be doing something. And I was like, wait, I think it's because I'm not on social media. I'm having a hard time just like focusing on something else instead of being on my phone all day. That day was pretty tough. I also noticed myself looking through my own photos a lot. And I don't know if it was just because when we're on social media, it's just constantly getting all this information and photos. My brain kept going back into my own photos, which like, I don't know if that's a thing. Has anyone ever done this? Where I just kept going back into my own photos. Weird, I don't know. I definitely felt a little bit disconnected being on off of Snapchat, which I didn't expect whatsoever, but Snapchat is actually a big means of communication, I realized. A couple of my friends were like sending me photos in text messages because they knew I wasn't on Snapchat when it could have just been easier on Snapchat. That was a little weird. I want to go through the list of all the apps that I got rid of. It was kind of a big chunk, which is kind of bad how much social media is on my phone. So I got rid of Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. I also got rid of my YouTube analytics app because I feel like that's something that I'm constantly clicking on and wanting to see results, just being obsessed with, you know, refreshing that. I also logged out of my YouTube account so I couldn't see how my videos were doing. The only thing I didn't delete was the YouTube app, which I definitely could take a break from that, but I don't watch that much TV, so so when I'm getting ready or when I'm working out, I like to have something playing in the background, which was YouTube videos. So I definitely limited myself to not, you know, just be watching YouTube videos all day and having that be like my social media fulfillment. I limited myself to just watch it while I'm getting ready or when I'm working out. The two weeks was definitely a journey and I definitely recommend others doing this because it was so refreshing and so fulfilling knowing that I wasn't aimlessly scrolling through my phone all day. Obviously this is my own experience and some people might think that's not that big of a deal to just hop off social media for that long but for me it definitely was it was extremely refreshing and made me realize how long I'm on my phone. I want to quickly talk about why I recommend getting off social media for at least a few days. This can be extremely refreshing and rewarding just knowing that you can step away from your phone that long and it also puts hopefully a stop to comparing yourself and putting yourself down because during those 14 days I was just looking at myself in the mirror and growing my confidence every day because I had nothing thing to compare myself to. We all know social media is just a highlight reel of everybody's life. We only see the good in people. People only post good pictures of themselves. And I was really taking myself down. But during those days off, I was totally building myself up, really giving myself recognition and appreciating my body, all my features. And I even said this to my boyfriend where I was like, I think aging is good for me. Like, I'm looking better every day. That's something that would not come out of my mouth a couple weeks ago. It definitely will boost your confidence, at least I hope it will, and give that experience for you because it was pretty great. If you guys wanna see another type of detox video, I was kind of thinking about doing a complete digital detox, even though that would be crazy. Like, no TV, no iPad, no computer. I don't think I could do 14 days because I might go a little 
little stir crazy. But if you guys want to see another video like this, definitely let me know. I would love to share my experience. During those days off, I got a lot of reading in. I spent a lot of time with friends and just being in the moment. It has been really great and really wonderful and I thought it would be a really cool video just to explain how it went for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It is much appreciated and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!